The Malaysian king has named Anwar Ibrahim as the country's new prime minister. The announcement ends days of uncertainty after last week's election gave no clear majority to any political party. Let's go to Florence Louis, who is in Kuala Lumpur. Fl Florence, what exactly has been announced? Well, the king has the palace rather has announced that Anwar Ibrahim will be sworn in as the country's 10th prime minister at 5 p.m. local time on Thursday. Now, this ends the sort of political impasse this country has experienced since Saturday's re elections returned an inconclusive winner. And for Anwar as well, this is the culmination of a journey of decades. He was first a an, an heir apparent to the position of prime minister. He was a deputy prime minister at one point, and then he was jailed for sodomy and corruption on charges that a lot of his supporters say are politically motivated and indeed widely seen as politically motivated. Since his release, he's been the leader of opposition. He's built up this whole um, opposition movement known for its calls of government reform. He's led the opposition coalition, which was made up of disparate groups with very different ideals and policies c coming together to really increase in strength from election to election. Now, he was very ne nearly made the prime minister when the opposition coalition won a historic election in 2018. But the opposition coalition, which was then in government, fell apart because of infighting and defections. And his chances of being prime minister had evaporated. And this time, his coalition, Pakatan Harapan, or the Alliance of Hope, they won the largest number of seats in parliament, but still not enough to form a majority. And that's why there was this whole horse trading that took place over five days, because the two largest winners of the election could not form coalitions. And so the constitutional monarch had to step in and appoint, as he's constitutionally empowered, the person he thinks is able to command the confidence of the majority. Now, there's still no answer about the shape of this government, whether it's going to be a unity government made up of um, um, members of parliament who will be appointed to ministerial positions from the second largest bloc, which is also the rival for um, Anwar's Alliance of Hope. And in fact, the leader of the second largest bloc, Muhyiddin Yassin, had initially said that he will not be working with the Alliance of Hope. So it is kind of, I mean, so the country has a prime minister now, but it is still difficult to see whether or not this will be a stable government. Thank you for that, Florence Louis in Kuala Lumpur.